Good morning, Bulldogs, and welcome to BCTV News. I'm Sebastian. And I'm Xander. So this week we have a lot in store for you, so we'll get into that. But first, please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. Allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Now please remain seated for 30 seconds of silence. It's looking pretty good out here, guys. You know, there's been a lot of buildup before and after school on uh, Michelle Crest and Centennial. Not as bad as Centennial and Wallapai, but still pretty bad. So there's been police out here trying to regulate traffic of students and teachers who are going a bit too quick. Slow down. Anyways, that's it for traffic. Back to you guys in the studio. Over here, what has happened in Hawaii? Uh, well, there was a bomb threat in Hawaii, okay? And people were scared and they were running around not knowing what to do. But it was... It was a fake bomb threat. So Yesterday's cell phone signals here were absolutely overloaded as people called their loved ones to say goodbye as others ran for cover. It was a chaotic and confusing scene and a place known for its tranquility. All personnel take shelter immediately. Just after 8 a.m. in Hawaii, pandemonium in paradise. Hysteria triggered by a false alarm. The terrifying message screamed across cell phones throughout the state. Ballistic missile threat inbound to Hawaii. Seek immediate shelter. This is not a drill. We've seen people starting to run. The hotel staff came and told my parents, seek shelter, you only have 12 minutes. Mm -hmm. The story's a little more depressing. Uh, there's some news about what happened to our school. Yeah, it's, it's a bummer. Like, the lockers are gone. <laughs> they took out all the lockers and they, well, actually, they did take out the lockers, but in good news, good news about this is that they are going to turn that area into what seems like they're going to put tables in. It's like an eating area. Oh, not a lot of people use the lockers anyway, so I think it's really good. Yeah, I think it's a good idea. I mean, like, I'm pretty sure a few people use the lockers, but but not, not, not too much. Not as, not as much as, like, I would use my locker, you know what I mean? In the arms of All right, thanks guys. Let's take a little bit of a look at the weather here. On Friday, it's going to be 67 degrees, you know, partly cloudy. But on Saturday and Sunday, it's going to be a little bit cooler at 52 degrees on Saturday and 53 on Sunday. It was partly cloudy on Saturday, but it's all sunshine and rainbows and unicorns and puppies on Sunday. So that's the weather. Back to you guys. Now at the sports, we have some breakdown of uh, our sports news for our own, our own school, school sports. And then we have uh, some, some pro league, some pro league football. Take the handoff. Bortles heaves it downfield. It's caught by Keelan Cole. The rookie climbs the imaginary ladder. 275 receiving yards. First and goal inside the five. Fournette trying to hammer it in. He does. Touchdown, Jacksonville. Fake toss, pass, caught. Touchdown, Saints. Michael Thomas. And the second year pros got his second of the game. Try to work the ball on the boundary. Keenum steps into it. Pass is caught. Diggs! Sideline! Touchdown! Unbelievable! Vikings win it!
This has been BCTV News 2018. I'm Xander. And I'm Sebastian. And we're signing off. Signing off. Max, what's your New Year's resolution? My New, New Year's resolution is to get down to 180 pounds. How are you right now? I'm 213. That seems good, dude. Thank you. You've already lost some. Yeah. You've got this. Yeah. I know I got this. You've got this. I got, the, I got the force on my side. It's like, you know, May the 4th be with you. All right, what's your New Year's resolution? To so buy a new backpack. Buy a new backpack? Dude, this one's pretty dope. Look at that quality stuff right there. It's a good backpack. You should get another resolution. It's beautiful. All right, guys, what's your uh, New Year's resolution for 2018? Uh, to start our skate company, Milk and Squawk. We're dropping apparel mid-2018 for all the people that want to know at Milk and Squawk Official on Instagram. Yep, check it out.